live. Uh, we're we're live. Thirsty for clicks. That's Go live, I and you're okay. off the frame. Stupid. No respect. No respect. Right to start the show. Let's go. Congratulations. I don't know who's that. Is that to Perna? Might be we ride hey, Lord and we die together. Oh, but I can't reach. Okay, there we go. I soloed myself. Go. Uh -huh. wow. Hey, I, crush that date. I'm walked out again. Let's go. Game probably won't be well. But. All right, someone else gets Super Chats then. Anyway, so uh, I got the phone call a few weeks ago um, from the Packers. I missed the phone call originally because I keep my phone on silent because I don't want to get phone calls. And eventually called them back. We play phone tag for a hot second. And they called and basically said that there were a ton of people who nominated me to be the Packers fan of the year. They read, appreciate you, rad guy, uh, read the story like over and over again. Uh, and then they decided that this is what they were going to rock with, uh, that it was going to be me. So what that entails is that I'm getting two tickets to go to the Super Bowl. Um, what? The NFL honors. And I'm going to be out there from the 8th, I think, until about the 12th. Um, I already got invited to an event for St. Jude because they have a huge charity dinner where they're actually uh, honoring Tony Romo. It's like the Pat nice. Summerall Award. And nice. so because of what I did with St. Jude, they invited me to go to that, which is in Vegas that same week, obviously. So, yeah, so that's that's pretty incredible. Um and then they told me and they're like, all right, you need to go get a photo shoot done and all that stuff. That's why it was like the white background and all that great mm. stuff. So did that, got the photo shoot done, wrote a little bio uh, and sent it to them. And then they put it out on Tuesday. It was just a tweet, but they put it out on Tuesday. And yeah, Can like the- scroll down the, a little bit? Sorry. The, yep. the support was freaking incredible. Like it was just so awesome. The amount of people who came out and, and said some really <laughs> kind things was really, really cool. <laughs> the, um, the Raiders fan didn't even show up. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I, I, I saw the Atlanta fan. Her name is April Showers. I, I, oh, I want to her based on really? that name alone. Yes. Um, gosh. But yeah, so and it's cool too, because two of the guys that uh, also got nominated for fan of the year is Dell from Buffalo from the Bills who runs 26 shirts and I had 26 shirts create the nice. shirts for 30 and 30. So that's pretty damn cool. And then for the Bengals, it's Tony to Tiger, who I also met during 30 and 30 as well. So like, that's just really awesome too. And so basically voting open today, uh, I have to answer like a questionnaire for them, but voting open today. So you can vote that is like 10% of the vote. And then the winner gets like a trophy at the NFL honors. No way. So if you're like, I'm not voting there. for you, by the way, I'm just, That's I okay. can't out of, yeah. so out of there's principle. some like phenomenal people. So yeah, no, oh, it's, yeah. it was just, yeah. uh, it's really, the, really cool. The, the, the Do we Broncos know how nomination? The what? <laughs> the Broncos nominee, uh, Carrie green. I interviewed him and his son at the game in, uh, they showed up to the game in these uh, mile high monster costumes they created and Carrie passed away this year. Oh, no. So uh, a cool nod to like him and his son and them, you know, showing up to like every Broncos game. I forget for how long, uh, but I just went and I voted for Tom today. And that's where I finally saw who the Broncos nominated. And I was like, oh, that's a really that's really cool. And uh, it's cool just to see like everybody that they highlighted. Wait, can we put the link to vote for Congratulations! I yeah. forgot I, I, I do moral victories in my winners and losers. I, I, I just forgot I do that. I would have wow. given it to the Cowboys this week because I <laughs> thought they had a good moral victory. I agree with that. You know? Good moral victory. And I actually, I wanted your opinion on this, Scooter. Because I put them in the power rankings this week. And I was like, Dak's playing well. Um... Defense pretty good, opportunistic. Like, what is what is the thing that's that's missing that's holding him back a little bit? And I think it's your run game. It's the fact that some of our starters who are getting paid were being outperformed by the people under them, and since they've come back from injury, the starters have been elevated again. You look at a guy like Wanya Thomas. This man has not played. Donovan Wilson was injured and he comes back. Yes, he's performing okay, but Wanye Thomas was balling out of control. It's things like playing Michael Gallup as the third string receiver when you have a Jalen Colbert who's been lighting it up. Uh, this new signing with Martavis Bryant is very interesting because it's like, what do you do with Michael Gallup? The same guy who you paid, who you've been playing. So I just think it's those hard decisions that the top management has not done.
a lot of people. And then they were like, Dak couldn't get it done with all of these players. He's a fraud. He's terrible. And I'm like, bro, I don't think you understand what it means to be a number one on a team. Like you get more targets when you're a number one receiver. It's true. It's true. That's so like it's a 600 very... yards, 600 receiving yards from one yeah. Cowboys <laughs> ball catchers and one current Cowboy ball. And the sad part is, I'm just going to say it out loud, and I don't be offended, Scooter. He might not be the best quarterback in his state. That might be CJ Stroud. He's done. So when you look at when he was in there, like he wasn't good and he was he was healthy. Like we got shut out by the freaking Cowboys and then we – laid an egg the next week like he has not been effective i don't know why he's not any good from last year when he was effective but he just i think he's done like and the giants clearly from here on out if they're losing to the raiders a team that their ex-team captain is coaching off the count bit you know like antonio pierce has no head coaching experience and dissected the giants because they traded freaking leonard williams and they, I knew they had no run stopper in the middle and they were just going to gash him with you guys like Tony Pollard, like whoever is, is if you're playing prize picks, use code five points, by the way, if you have that game project Tony Pollard over. Okay. Because the giants cannot stop the win win for Chicago. And both teams are completely battered. Have you seen how injured Carolina's defense is? No Shaq Thompson, no JC Horn, Brian Burns is out. CJ Henderson's out. They're down to uh, linebackers they picked up off the street. They just signed Blake Martinez, old friend That's of right. five, and Tom Pokey, Ross. Yeah, no, yeah the, the Pokemon. Pokemon scammer, and now he's probably going to mm -hmm. scam the Panthers because he gets a bunch of tackles in the middle of the field after 10 to 15-yard receptions. And the Bears, they're going to be without fields again. They're without a few of their quarterbacks. A uh, few defenders as well, I believe. I don't know if Tremaine Edmonds is playing. I think there are going to be a few guys down there as well. So this is going to be a, a, a fantastically ugly game. Bring out the liquor. Al Michaels is, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be fun. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Tom, I'm so sorry. And actually, me and Five are going to be streaming it on Dumpster Fire because it's such a yep. spectacular just wreck that we have to broadcast it. It's super tankful, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, so these, speaking of the... All these primetime games oh. are so bad this weekend. They're so, so bad. Because I would say, after last week, Arizona, they got beat so bad by the Browns. So but, oh, but they had Atlanta Clayton Tune out there. Never yeah. underestimate how bad Atlanta can be. They are a frustrating yeah. team, and I just, it's just, it's just <laughs> mind-numbing. Whenever I have to watch them, it's, it's, it's God kill me. Bob's a literal rocket scientist. Yes, though. yes. <laughs> he uh, intern with NASA. They call him the pastronaut. Really? So, and uh, no, he, he actually did actually, have a really good quote the other day as well. It's like uh, comparing like he took AP Spanish all year, then randomly gets tra and, uh, transferred to AP French, and then he has his final the next day. That's what he really came down to. Well, actually, I heard that he was a suborbital ballistic propulsion engineer, so he's not exactly a rocket scientist. That's fair. That is go. fair. So the Vikings got a win this past weekend. And Here's a so picture did... of him actually in outer space, too, which is cool. Not a lot of people know that he went there. That's true. That is and true. And here's a picture of That's Will weird. Levitz uh, shaving off his eyebrows because he was so impressed with Josh Dobbs. Oh, good I'm question. going week to week. I got no idea. I don't think uh -huh. it's going to go well, but I'm hoping every single week. Because, listen, we scored a touchdown in the first half, so... <laughs> the limit is the moon. Uh, honestly, that's how I felt this past week when the Steelers See, scored an opening drive touchdown. I'm telling it's like, you, we, like, can, we can score touchdowns. Folks, Tree and I are going to stream this Sunday. It's going to be so The bad. Steelers and Packers are almost an identical team. Question, if Matt Stafford was playing, would you guys have still won that game? <laughs> I don't know. I Maybe. Don't so, but I don't know. Oh I mean, the, I will say, like... Puka, Puka did nothing. Like Cooper Cup did nothing. So it obviously was a quarterback problem. They also had no run game either. So I mean, they're down to backup running backs. Like yeah. they're down. Ronnie so, Rivers and Kyle Williams up. are both injured. Here's a question. Like I can't get up on the couch. It is the weirdest thing. And Steelers won again. It was probably sadly. It was probably their most convincing one on the year. Even though it was a last minute drive that they tried to hand. 
the Titans the game because the Steelers were kind of sloppy on the penalty front. Not oh. me. <laughs> Not for a single second. I think this is the game. We already turned the season around by beating the Chiefs. This is the game where afterwards everyone is going to say, oh, shit. Oh, Broncos, my God. Football team. We're heading into this game with just two guys on the injury report, and they both practiced in full right now. So our bye week came at a nice time. This is the healthiest team we have fielded all year. Our defense um, over the last three weeks, okay? You do the last three weeks, they've allowed touchdowns on just 10% of uh, uh, the drives. Addition Best by subtraction. Best in the NFL at not allowing touchdowns. Some of them, but dude, like they, they are some rough games. There are some still. This is just, this is an interesting game because the Panthers own, or I'm sorry, the Bears own the Panthers pick. Mm -hmm. So is it a win-win or a lose-lose? The Bears don't lose? care, man. They lose, yeah. oh no. They win, oh no. Like it's, it's all good. Yeah. What? Abomination. No, it's actually Shailene. Shailene. Wow. <laughs> Greatest Shailene, game ever. Shailene. I'll start off. I got $2. Let's Ooh. go, baby. More points than the Panthers or Bears are going to score in the first half. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to lose, so just keep going, guys. Uh, 51 95, so I did not win. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Did you hear what I said? I got twelve dollars. No. I got twelve dollars. That's oh. six times more than Scooter. Suck it, loser. And also more than both teams are going to score in a single. I got a one hundred and sixty dollars. Ooh, not bad. There you go. Uh, I got 316, uh, never mind, $321. Congratulations! I think if Tom I'm if still Tom looking for wins. muffin mix that I can consume, so I have not forgotten about that punishment. I'm still looking for yeah. muffin mix. I think your punishment would just have to be watching the Bears and Panthers game with excitement. But I'm already doing it. <laughs> I know, but that's a punishment all its own. I know, I'm just punishing myself with that, though. That's, uh... <laughs> no, what do we got? Tom wins fan of the year. He has to wear a tearaway suit at his acceptance speech and then rip it off in front of America. And there's got to be some really controversial political message on it. 